But yeah, you have to remember though, okay? The NFL is really a business though. To be honest, if you ask me, they couldn't care less about their black players. All they care about is the money, okay? Once they they hire you because they want to know how much money you can bring them. It doesn't matter how good you are. And after they... And after you lose, after they find out you can't bring no more money, then they let you go just like that. And it's funny how uh, NFL said that they owe Carbon Captain an apology, though, but you can't give this man a job. Okay? But first of all, though, okay, let's just... Switch the roles here, okay? Let's switch the roles, okay? Let's say I was a cop, a black cop, and let's say I had my knee on a white or not even white or another non person non person of color's neck for let's say nine minutes and ten seconds, and he say I can't breathe, I can't breathe, okay. Okay, and I find out he's dead, but still tell him to freeze. First of all, two things still I'm seeing for to happen. Number one, every body. Number one, people would attack me and everything. Number one, no, oh, wait, wait. After he find out he did, they will automatically know who I am, and. Apparently, they would they would get me right away, though, okay? I would, matter of fact, I wouldn't even have a court date because I would be dead. Okay? Or let's say I'm a white guy and I shot up. Or let's say I'm a, my bad, let's say I'm a black guy and I shot up a search. A full of white people. Not saying that I would. I wouldn't go to book. It, it would be no bugging king for me. No, 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 no. First of all, I would be beaten down and tased until I can't breathe no more. And you must ask that the system is not fucked up? Well, let me tell you something. It's so strange that a homeless mother who didn't have a home gets 10 years in prison just by using a friend address to work her son at school. 10 years? Come on now. She didn't have a home. But... A white person only gets five months probation for robbing a jewelry store. Okay? And let's go with the talk about the All Lives Matters. The All Lives Matters. His thing. To be honest, you guys really get on my damn nerves. Okay? And let me tell you why. You guys say all lives matter like we don't know that, okay? We never said all lives didn't matter. They put words into our mouth. We That never came out of our mouth. However, we know all lives didn't matter. The reason why we say black lives didn't matter is because y'all not the ones getting y'all blame spratted out everywhere on the street by the cops. We are. Y'all not the target. We are. I'm telling you. First of all, Friday was... The march on Washington, 57th anniversary. Okay, some people went to Washington to march. I stayed here and marched with the Black Revolutionaries. And to be honest, I'm really tired of marching. I'm really tired of protesting. My great grandparents marched. My parents marched. My grandparents marched, and I, I'm marching. I'm tired of it though. And if you guys, all lives matter. If you guys can't see why we wear. The Black Lives Matter T-shirts. Why we wear the Black Lives Matter masks? Why we do the fishes? While we're doing this, then you part of the problem. Simple as that. You are part of the problem. Okay. And to be honest, you. There's no hope for you. Okay. Let me tell you something, man. The system was never made for us, though. I mean, first of all, you. Some people say, "Oh, this is our country, man. We take back our country." First of all, this was never your country to begin with. You stole this land from somebody else that was always inhabiting. They stole this land. Then you say, oh, we apologize. You, you can't apologize for 400 years of slavery. You can't really, okay? I mean, I just don't know what we have to do. What more do we have to do? Like, what would it take? Sometimes I wish, like, 
this was all the big dream. This is a big nightmare, you know. I'm sleeping in my bed. And next thing you know, I'll wake up from this nightmare. But no, when I realized that, no, this is actually real. This is actually happening. This is actually going on. I should not be afraid to walk out my house every morning or every day because I'm thinking, like, I'm going to be the next victim. Or walk out my house because I'm thinking, like, I'm going to get shot by not even the police, but somebody else who doesn't see me as a person. I should not have to uh, feel like that, okay? That should not be a fear of mine. And I'm tired of being afraid. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I know I speak with my other black brothers and sisters when they say they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Of. Okay? Like, I just don't know what would it take for these people to realize that this is wrong. This is not the way we do. This is not what people of God do. If you say you're Christian, why are you doing this? And you talk about, let's make America great. We want America even great to begin with, to be honest. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I says, I don't know, like, to be honest, I don't know what else to say, though. I mean, come on now. I mean, it's so funny, like, a health worker, somebody who worked in a medical field, who's trying to save lives, Breonna Taylor was killed. At her own house. And these cops are still out there. But Jamari on Robinson. How can a police can knock on somebody's door. With a no knock warrant. Because they had the wrong guy. So they thinking apparently we all look alike. That's but we don't. So they shot him. 96 times. With 79 bullets in him. That was four years ago. On the 16th, here in Atlanta, Georgia, who was a student at Kashyyyk University, a college athlete, was about to graduate, and those cops for four years still ain't been arrested yet. He didn't deserve that. Or it's fine. Yeah, Jamal Young Robinson needs justice. Beyonce Taylor deserves justice. George Floyd, all of them deserve justice. Jacob Blake. First of all, it's, I find it. It makes breaks my heart that Jacob Blake tried to do some good, tried to help break up a fight because he didn't want to see us, because he wanted us to stand in unity though. And next thing you know, he gets shot seven nine times in the back by the by the damn police. When his kids, in front of his kids, they was in the car. They saw that. They witnessed that. That's gonna traumatize to them. They dad almost died. Thank lucky he didn't die, but now they dad gonna be paralyzed probably for the rest of his life. Okay, or oh, I find it crazy that we can't even go jogging because we think of a disturbance. I'll be Mr. Uh, Aubrey. Well, we thinking that well we gonna get something go jogging. Like I'm gonna say, what can we do? Like what can we do? Listen, we never asked to be in this country. Okay? We were stolen. But we made a name for ourselves. We have made a legacy, though. We built this country. I'm sorry to say, but we built this country. I just want to know, like, what more would it take? What do we do? I just have a question. What do we do so bad? What do we do for people to hate us? What did we do for people to hate us? Okay? Yeah. But anyway, I just want to say, like, social injustice, you cannot sit here and ignore and act like this is not happening, okay? You can't be on our side one day, then, uh, then ignore what's going on to us. No, no, no. You have to pick a side, okay? You have to pick a side. Either you for us or you against us. It's simple as that, though. Okay, now, I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. And some people probably get mad at this video, but I don't care. This needs to be said. Okay, like I said, though. Alright? You have to be for us, though. To be honest, to me, if you ask me, the real problem we were facing wasn't Corona. Okay? 
corona discussion, the real problem, the real epidemic we're facing is what's going on in America, though. Okay? Man, now I admit, though, man, you guys, we appreciate the uh, putting, pe putting black people in power, black people getting up in e-board positions, changing voice actors, changing things, but... Okay, we appreciate that, but the main thing we ask for, can you prosecute the police, hold these people accountable, arrest these people who did the crime? That's all we ask. Do the right thing. Fair, fair justice system. That's all we asking you to do. Okay? Because like I said before, I'm black, and I'm going to be black the day I die. That's one thing that I will never change. That's one thing I can't change. Okay, and I hope you guys realize that. Matter of fact, so you can show that I'm black. I'm about to show y'all how proud I am to be black. Yeah. See? Now you see. Beautiful, handsome black man. Who life matters. Who life being matters. I would, I, when I have kids, I don't want to raise my kids in a world like this. Okay, I'm trying to be a part of my kids' life. Do I have kids now? No, when I have kids. Okay, I'm trying to watch my kids grow up. Thinking about my little cousins, I'm trying to watch them grow up. I want to be a part of their life, man. I don't want to have to tell my son, like, uh, oh, when I get killed by the police, you're going to take my legacy? No, that's not me, though. Like I said, this is bigger than black and white. It's a problem with the whole world night. It can't change overnight. But we got to start somewhere. Might as well go ahead and start here. We don't have the hell of a year. I'm going to make it count while I'm here. That's the only man I fear. That was little baby. The bigger picture. And I'm actually going to play that song for you guys right now. The end of the video. But I say, hey. If you... Do support this, like I said, uh, if you are with me, thank you for your support and everything. If you're not, I'm just going to pray for you, that you find God. Okay, because like I said, this is unacceptable. Everybody in the world should have a problem with this. Everybody in the world should have a problem with what's going on. Uh -huh. Okay, what happened to George Floyd, Beyond the Taylor, I'm being Audrey? That should be a problem for everybody. I'm going to leave you guys with this song, some of it.